Like we're, we're in Sioux Falls right now driving and today is the official day the texting and banning law goes into effect. What does that mean for you? Well, for me that means I have another tool that I can use to uh, get the distracted driver off the road or at least get him stopped and uh, discuss the habits that they've developed over the years. How much of a problem is texting in Sioux Falls with driving? I think it's a bigger problem than a lot of people do realize. It's not that hard to uh, drive down any road in Sioux Falls and see people with their phones. Uh, I've seen people looking at their phones. I've seen people texting on their phones. Uh, you know, we had a bad crash here a couple of months ago that's been attributed to texting and driving. And uh, I just I, I think that texting as a whole, I understand the concept of it as far as uh, being in contact with your friends and your family. But I think that the time and place is not when you're driving. The last thing we need when we're driving is another distraction. What message do you have for drivers right now watching this? Don't text and drive. Don't use your cell phone unless you have to. Uh, we need to pay attention to what we're doing when we're on the road, and the last thing I want to do is have to go to a crash because somebody wasn't paying attention to what they were supposed to be doing, which is driving. So obviously we need to take heed with this ordinance and refrain from texting and driving. Absolutely. That's exactly right.